It's time now for the GEICO 15. GEICO, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Visit GEICO.com to find out how much you could save. Who's got the juice? We do. Consistency is no mystery to this man. Browns wideout Jarvis Landry spent seven seasons in the NFL, and he stands among legends in terms of his production. The five-time Pro Bowler has 636 career receptions, second to only Marvin Harrison for a seven-year stretch to start a career. He's also the only player to haul in 70-plus passes in each of his first seven seasons. And you know what else he's got? Unfinished business. We are joined now by the pride of Convent, Louisiana, Jarvis Landry, joining the show. Thanks for taking the time, my man. Uh, we appreciate you stopping by. Before we dive into all things Super Bowl, all things season, how has the offseason been uh, two weeks in here? Uh, it's been all right, man. You know, I wish we, we were still playing, but uh, it's been all right. It's been good to be here, be with the family. Um, so, you know, can't be that either. Uh, yes, just uh, not too far removed from the action in the postseason. It was fantastic to watch. Did you let yourself watch the AFC title game or too fresh a wound there still? Yeah, it was a little bit too fresh. Uh, you know, I glanced over, you know, a couple of the games, you know, just here and there. But for the most part, um, I was just trying to stay stay out of it and, you know, enjoy the family and, you know, not, not pay too much attention. Well, by just about every measure, it was the most successful season of Cleveland Browns football in a quarter century, 11-5. and five. Uh, You get the first playoff win since 94. All things seem to be moving in the right direction, but you do fall short of that ultimate goal. How are those two emotions stacking up in your head right now? What you accomplished versus the unfinished business? Yeah, it, it's tough. Um, it's tough because I think every year, well, I know every year guys set out to be, you know, a champion. You know, when, when you fall short of that goal, um, you know, it, it's very tough. And I think about, you know, the Cleveland Brown organization and everything that we've accomplished this year and been able to do as a team, um, it, it, it speaks volumes to, you know, the guys that are in this building working hard each and every day with each other. But it also is, you know, one of those things, again, man, you know, you, you, you to that same breath, you want to see those guys be champions, mm -hmm. you know. So um, it, it's it's sad that the season ended the way it did, but we did accomplish a lot, and I'm grateful for that we have some stuff to build on. It seems like momentum is headed in the right direction. Perhaps making it even more impressive uh, what you were able to accomplish here this past season is you did it without your guy, uh, your running mate, OBJ, missing the majority of the season. Your guy's relationship, it fascinates me. You were born 23 days apart. I think we even got one from the Wayback Machine here. You sharpened your skills at LSU, but this was prior to that. Uh, this is uh, back at a LSU prospect camp. Uh, to share a locker stall next to this man at the highest level now, did the high school juniors in that picture think you'd be where you are today? Man, you know what? We did. You know, we did. You know, we, we knew um, since way back when when we set this, set this crazy dream out that, you know, we wanted to accomplish something, that we wanted to be legendary, that, you know, we want to leave our mark in every place that we, we, we were and then potentially to be able to have an opportunity to play together. Never knowing or never thinking that it would happen this soon, and obviously it did. And you know, just as we put it together, something actually ha something else happened. Happens, um, and um, it's it's very tough. But you know, he, he's a strong, strong guy, man. He's gonna bounce back from this, and we get him out on that field and uh, continue to work and do everything that we talked about doing. And, Hopefully we can get a championship today. Well, you've been speaking it into existence since that picture, so why stop? Now, I got to ask, who balled out harder at the LSU camp way back when? Oh, man, I, we both did. We <laughs> both did. That's why they offered both I was going to say, us. both got the offer, so something went right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, that's what it was. Uh, well, your paths have once again aligned here in Cleveland, and it has been a pleasure to watch. Between yourself, Odell, Baker, there's a lot of talent in that offensive room, but there's also plenty of big personalities. How have you guys so quickly gotten everyone on the same page? Uh, I mean, it's ultimately it's about the same goal. You know, everybody's just working together. You know, I think being as transparent as we can be, then obviously understanding that, you know, it's all a process, you know, and sometimes, you know, you're going to struggle a little bit, but if you continue to do the little things, continue to work together, continue to build the trust on and off the field, I think those are the things that kind of matter the most in the, in the, in the long run. And um, again, you know, just as we were getting things together and starting to come together as an offense, you know, um, oh, oh, gets injured, but 
you know, I think there's still a lot of room for us to grow and mature, uh, even though we had success without it. Well, take us into some of those conversations. What are you and Oban talking about? I know still fresh here on the back end of this season, but have you turned your focus to next season with your guy yet? Yeah, you know, uh, listen, I think his whole focus has been about rehab, you know, making sure that he's rehabbing, making sure that he's going to be able to be out there on the field and be the guy that we all know he can be. Um, and we have no doubt in that. Um, and, and then for everybody else, myself, Baker, you know, it's, again, looking at what we've done and also being critical of the mistakes and the errors and all the things that we can fix to get better um, so that we can beat teams like Kansas City. You know, obviously, right now, they look like they're they're the standard. You know, um, they've been to the Super Bowl for the last two years. So, you know, we want to obviously focus on us, but, you know, we have to beat teams like that, and, you know, we need all of us. Well, it is strange times across the NFL right now as quarterbacks switch places. Other guys are waiting on deals. You now in your NFL career, you've dealt with the quarterback carousel. How good does it feel to head into an offseason knowing that you got your guy in Baker? It feels amazing. <laughs> it feels amazing. Uh, I don't think it's uh, nothing else to you know continue to elaborate on about that. It's, it's, it's an amazing feeling. All right, well, you guys have uh, rerouted a once-dormant franchise. The excitement amongst Cleveland fans, it's through the roof right now. If you could send a message to the Dog Pound, what would that message be here on the back end of the season and leading into next? No, I mean, you know, the old times ain't nothing like the new times. I think that's a, that's a Drake line, but, you know, it's <laughs> real. You know, I think I think for us, you know, we, we, we continue growing, I think, um, the healthier that we can stay, um, the hungry, the never satisfied type of attitude, the mentality that we need is in the building, you know, and we just got to continue to keep growing on it, continue to never feel entitled in this league, you know, because any given Sunday, you know, so um, for us, we have to continue to grow, continue to, to know that the things that we've done last year don't count this year, you know, so we got to go out there and prove it again. All right, Juice, it's Super Bowl week. We like to have a little bit of fun, uh, let our hair down a little bit more on that in just a bit here. We're going to run through a speed round, uh, Anya. Questions are going to be quick. Answers do not have to be. All right, you ready? Yeah. All right, better hair, you or Odell? Uh, me. You got to you gotta give me some, is it because is it because Odell went with the fade? I mean, like, what's, I mean, the, bra the braids are on point. It's the braids. So that, that, yeah. was like, that was like the tap out from Odell when he, when he, <laughs> when he cut the dot. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see if he's got a comeback, uh, comeback story here in 2021 in more ways than one. Uh, you, if we were to open your Spotify or Apple Music right now, what's on pause? What's playing right now? Uh, Drake. Any song in particular right now we're riding? Uh, anything, any album, any song. He never missed. We're still waiting on that album. Make a call. You yeah. got. We know you got the number. Make the call. We're waiting yeah. on that. We're waiting on that next album here. All right. If you could Coming trade, soon. if you could trade skill sets with one other athlete for a day, who would it be and why? Mm. Uh, man, probably be Julio Jones. Man, he freakish. He's gifted. He can run. He can jump. Um, run routes for his size. You know, being a guy that's six four two over two twenty two fifteen. You know, that's that's something that you rarely see. All right. Biggest change in the Browns building from your day one to today? Mentality. My man said, my man said, if it ain't hanging off the bone, if the hamstring ain't hanging off the bone, yeah. I need you out there at practice. <laughs> uh, this Culture. season, this season, you were the only non quarterback to throw for a touchdown, rush for a touchdown and catch a touchdown pass. Your favorite house call of the season was what? Uh, definitely the throw, the throw to Odell Dallas game. Anytime yeah, I've been working on that play. You got to let the wideouts throw it, especially rolling left. You got you got to let the wideouts throw. Um, two for two career, or I think four for four on the season, one for a touchdown. If I, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. those numbers don't lie. Those numbers do not nope. lie. All right, well, break down your hashtag for us. I, I, I see you all over Twitter, Instagram. See you on the other end. What's behind that? <laughs> um, man, for me, that's it's just a mindset. You know, I've always. Uh, believes that you know when I take a, when I step on the field, you know my mind, my mentality, or uh, even in training, you know I have to go to a different place, you know. And a lot of times, in in, in, in when I say see you on the other end, that's just mean that like that that switch has flipped, you know. That mentality has has flipped, and you know now I'm in a place I don't want to say is a dark place because. You know, I do make plays. I'm happy. I'm excited. But it is a place that I go to, you know, extreme level to focus, you know, a different level of thinking, 
a different level of training um where you know i kind of like processed things in my mind that way um and then you know I, I just say see you on the other end you know i got a couple guys on the team actually um you know finding finding themselves finding their little alter egos um with that with that same message i might jump on that too mm -hmm. All right, Juice, time now for the Geico 15-second statement. February 7th, CBS, who wins the Super Bowl and why? Uh, it's tough to go against Tom versus time, man. It's tough to go <laughs> against the GOAT, man. It, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's very tough. Um, so I'm going to go with Tom Brady. I'm right there with you. No hard feelings to Kansas City because they beat us and nothing like that. Hey. I'm just saying, my man, he just, you know, he... Get a go, you know. I don't want to go against him. We're not making any headlines. We just needed a pick. Juice, we appreciate you playing along here <laughs> on CBS Sports HQ. Salute, my man. See you, bro. For more from our guys, Patrick Peterson and Bryant McFadden, be sure to download and subscribe to the All Things Covered podcast. They get a star-studded group of athletes and otherwise on the pod. You'll see faces like Jarvis Landry. You'll see coaches. You'll see players. You'll see a little bit of everything on All Things Covered. Download and subscribe today. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.